Hey folks, I am here today and we are going to make a couple of baskets. We're going to make this one and also we're going to make this smaller one. I don't have anything in it, but we'll make the smaller one as well. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need for the bigger one, you're going to need a piece of 12 by 12 and also for the handle, you'll need a one and a half by 12. So. What I have is um, 12 by 12 and then I have this piece and I'm going to cut the one and a half piece off of. So first thing, let's take our paper trimmer and make sure, let's move this stuff out of the way, and make sure that we have a 12 inch piece of paper. So I'm just going to put this in here and cut this little strip off right here if my um, cutter will work. Take that piece off right there. Then we're going to take, this is going to be our handle, so we're going to take this and it's going to be one, one and a half inches. You can make this whatever you want. I'm going to do one and a half inches um, by 12. Set that aside. Paper trimmer aside for a minute. Get your scoreboard out, and we are going to score this at four and eight. Rotate it four and eight, and we can put our scoreboard away for a moment. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Now, you have all these little score lines, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to cut, it doesn't matter which side you cut, these two, these two. It doesn't matter, you can rotate it, they're all the same. Um, and you're just going to cut up to the other score line. Do that on both sides. It's kind of hard to see. Get it as straight as you can. You can fold this beforehand if you would like. Totally up to you how you want to do it. Okay. Then we're going to take and we're just going to fold on all of these score lines. Doing these for Easter, they can you can use this for any thing. Doesn't necessarily have to be Easter, but since Easter is coming up, I thought this would be a nice little project you could make to put some stuff in. All right, so now we're going to take our strip and we're going to pull this up like this, and we're going to glue our strip to it. I going to glue the strip first before we do the folding up. So I'm just going to take this, eyeball the center, um, take some glue, and stick it down. I may need, let me add a little bit more kind of up toward the top. I didn't get enough that time. Okay, then we're going to rotate it around. Put us some glue on this side and eyeball the middle. Using wet glue, you can move it around until you get it in what you consider the middle and stick it down. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to take these pieces and we're going to put them up like that. I don't know why my light went all crazy. So we're going to, what I do is I just put a little glue down here on the bottom and then up here 
add some more. Okay. And you're going to take it. You can put it on here too if you'd like. You're going to take it. No wonder it's not working. I didn't fold this side. Uh, make sure you fold on all your score lines so that it comes up easy, okay? And then you're going to take it and I use this for reference. This corner piece, I use that for reference to stick it down. Okay, you can lay it over and put your hands in there and stick it down like that if you want. Then this side is going to come over and just kind of eyeball um, where it kind of looks like it's in the center. This is all your, this is a bunch of eyeballing stuff, okay? So just eyeball, you can throw some on here if you want, whatever. Just eyeball the center. I like to stick it down like this and go in and blue. Okay. And if you don't get enough on it, just stick you some glue off in there and stick it down. Okay. Then rotate it. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. How did I do? I did. We're going to go this side up. This side up. Let's see. Let's make sure we get enough of this glue on here this time if we can. And then we're going to take it. Use I use this edge as a guide for the first one. Take it down real good. One more. Okay. And we're going to pull this one up, eyeball it to where it looks like it's about even. This glue is clear, so no worries about that. Then you have your basket. Now you can do whatever you want with it. You can decorate it however you want. You can put string on it, you can do ribbon, whatever. I'm going to put little brads in mine. So I'm going to use, um, let's see, what do I want? What do I want? Maybe those that yellow one, maybe these yellow ones. We'll, we'll do for this one and then I'm going to go ahead and stick my pin in my glue for a moment then I'm going to take my pokey tool and anywhere you want stick it through and then go in there and close it up rotate it around try to get it kind of in the same it's really not going to matter you're not going to be you know really staring at it too bad and open it up there you go you got that you got that i got that's paper not glue i thought that was glue then you can stick your little grass in there i have a scarf i don't have any grass but you can stick your little grass in there Put your little goodies in there. And yeah. So there's that one. Now, for the other one, we're going to use this paper and um, make this little 6x6 six six one. You can make these any size as long as you can even out your score marks. Okay? So like this one is going to be 2 and 4. So score at 2 and 4. Two and four so you can make these any size just so that you have the same amount on all three ignore things that are falling okay and so the same thing we're going to I think I can see better back here we're going to just take and um, make our four cuts And 
I just did these because they're the um, most popular sizes. But just so you can divide by three, you're good. Okay. So then we're just going to take and make sure we fold all the score lines this time. Not like last time. Right. So fold all of them up. Don't forget the middle ones. And I just use, um, I'm just using my finger for this. It doesn't have to be so precise. You can use your bone folders if you would like. Now, we're going to need a piece for the handle, and it's I'm going to do it a one by six. So this is one by six. Okay. So whatever the whatever size your paper is, just do that as the length. That's a good rule of thumb. Whatever size your paper is, just do that as the length that you use. Um, I need a little more. All right, so then we're going to take it, eyeball it, center, eyeball, center, center it. Okay, stick it down for a minute. Then we're going to take some glue on this side. Over, center it, and try to make it straight. <laughs> try to make it straight. Then we're going to bring these up. So remember, and I use this corner as a guide for the first one. And then with the next one, I just eyeball it. I look until it looks kind of even down here and up here. Eyeball it, stick it down. You can turn it over, squish it down, whatever. Okay. And do the same thing on the other side. I do try to make like if I went on the inside, on this side, on this one, then I do that on this one, if that makes sense. I do try to do that. And again, I'm going to use that as that corner as my guide. It's a good starting place. Okay. Then for the other one, just eyeball it. So take it up look and see what it looks like. Uh, eyeball it, stick it down. Okay, so then you have your little basket. We're going to, um, let's see, what color do we want? I just pulled out a bunch of these little flower things. Let's see, do we have any yellow? We can do yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Is that both yellow? Both yellow. All right. It's a great way to use your brads. It's a great way to use things that you don't normally use. Reminds you of things that you have that you should use. So then I'm going to take this, do this right here in the center. Be careful and don't get your finger in it. And take your little brad, stick it in. It also is uh, extra reassurance for um, your project to like an extra hold together for your project. Okay. So there you go. So there you have two little Easter baskets, or whatever you want them to be. So, yeah, there they are. My light is doing all kinds of crazy things. Let me put my hand there. Um, so, yeah, they're, um, let me 
let me cause a crash. All right, maybe that'll help. There we go. So now you have this one and this one. And yeah, fill it up with goodies. Give it to your loved ones. Give it to your neighbor. Give it to your mailman. Give it to whoever you want to give it to. And um, I hope that you make some. I hope you enjoy this project. I hope you make a bunch of them for your family and friends. And thanks so much for hanging out and watching. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye, guys.